What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, you thought the last moon video was cool? Wait until you see this one. Now, a couple of you guys have jumped on that site, that uh, server site from NASA, and have been showing me photos saying, hey, Chris, you got to check this out. Tony did it last time. Well, Kev, one of my subscribers as well, has done this, said, man, you got to check this out. And guess what? At both times, I've already had these in my Photoshop. Let me show you which one I'm talking about. This one's cool, guys. This is really neat. This one here, again, you know the drill. Go to this particular uh, page, and you, of course, you'll get the link. And this time, you're going to go to page 50 of a 162, and you can see it right here. And anybody who doesn't know, on the upper right corner, you got next. On the upper left, you've got previous. And, of course, it says every time you hit next or previous, you'll go up and down a page. So this is page 50 of 162. Now, Kev says, man, it looks like a ski resort. Well, funny thing about it is, you know, you don't even have to do much to this photo but you know how we like to do it, guys. You can see a whole lot of brightness in this photo. We like to bring it down. They talk about this right here in the description about this crater, and there's a smaller one within it. And it says this crater, with its intricately cracked floor, 37 kilometers across, is seen to be in the middle of a larger crater, about 65 kilometers across. What does that mean? Uh, it's about 40 miles across. Now, what I'm going to do is the same thing I did last time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to circle these things and put some arrows so you can see the things that really stood out for me th the most. Now, that doesn't mean that's all I'm seeing. It would take probably forever to point out each and every little anomaly in here. So guys, get out your magnifiers. Let's get into this. All right. Let's jump right in. Here's pretty much the center of the photo. Well, we'll put it right here. You can see the white bands on each side. So the center is right about here in the center. You can see the center just right here to the left. And I'm going to zoom into it, put it in the middle of the page. Tell me what you guys see. Check this out. Look at these pieces sitting right here. And I'm going to just make a circle here. What you want to do is pay close attention to the stuff within a circle. I kind of went a little bit in the other way. I should have went like that there. Because we have objects all up in here, all inside this circle. Now, there's a lot of whited out areas. If this is raw, which I really doubt, because a lot of this was airbrushed, a lot of this was... Uh, purposely brightened up and everything else. At least I think so. Now, is it possible that the moon is also bright itself as far as the lunar surface? Very good possibility. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tone down these uh, lighter areas, and then we're going to try to bring up the dark areas like I did in the last photo. But guys, check out these objects right here. Just look at it. If you're on a smaller device, get out your magnifiers. Check this stuff out. In fact, I'll just back out just a hair bit. So this may make it a little bit clearer. Now, there's another couple things I want you to see. This object, or this large piece here on the left-hand side, and we're going to go over that. And in this lower right corner, I want you to take a look at these little things. Guys, you definitely want to use your magnifiers. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into this a little bit, and then I'm going to go through the steps. What I'm going to try to do is bring this down, and I'm going to sharpen it a hair bit. Okay? All right, let's go with it. Okay, starting to bring it down. Pay attention to all the little things that are inside here, okay? The, what looks like rectangular docker areas, stuff like that. Okay, let's keep going with it. Let's keep bringing it down. Notice there's a little bit more detail starting to come out each time. See it? Okay. Now we're starting to bring up some of the docker areas, especially in the back here. Check this out. It's starting to come out a little bit more. Now let's make it fully black and white. So we don't have any colors messing with our eyes. Now check this thing out. This to me is cool. Again, we have this other object in the back here. Or this large area, I should say. This area in the back is of great importance. Why? Because when you look at this, it almost looks like it has a light or bright top to it, like the lunar surface. Remember I was telling you guys, it looks like they build into craters, and they utilize the moon's lunar surface for their benefit. It actually looks like it has height to it, like this, all this dark area from underneath this white piece down to the bottom floor appears to be something inside in between that space, like structures of something. Now, let's keep going with this. Now, I used a blue and yellow filter to try to maybe pop this a little bit more. Okay, let's keep going. A 
We brought this up in the back. I just circled in the back. Brought it up a little more. You can see the difference. A little bit, a little bit brighter. Went to black and white and brought up the dark areas a little bit better. Now, here's another thing that's pretty interesting. I didn't notice this until after. You've got this part right here. And I'm going to go real close at this so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Look at the, it looks like some kind of wide hanger of some sort. And if you look at the very ends, look at the little designs coming off it. They both, it's like they're symmetrical. On both sides, it's got the side coming down. you got a piece in the middle. But look at the little zigzag lines coming off the right one. And then look at the one coming off the left one. Like it's designed. This is not something that was, it's an accident. I mean, you can see this thing is designed, right? All right, let's keep going. This is what I mean in the back. You can see where I'm showing there's a top down to the lunar floor. There appears to be something in between this. Now, is it possible that this rectangular piece, this whiter piece, is off in the distance and we're seeing that? It doesn't appear that way. I think this stuff's been, it's been airbrushed or something to block out what's really here. Now, let's bring up the exposure a little bit. Back out just a little bit, and there you are, guys. Now, let's slide over to the right-hand side and have a look at these things in this lower corner here. Tell me what you guys see. Right here. You can see what looks like towers, a, a structure, another tower, some kind of weird block type thing. Let me show you one that's completely done, and I've circled everything for you. It's so much easier and quicker. Okay. Let's have a look. First, over here in this piece is here. I point out these different structures. The one in the red pointing right there, look at that structure, guys. The one right in front of and below, look at that one with the green arrow. Okay? We have all these little structures all in a row. This can't be an accident, guys. This is not what you typically see in a lunar photo. Now, keep in mind, this is the other side of the moon. This is the backside that we don't see. Now, I showed you these pots earlier, and I believe that these are like almost like a rectangular roof over them, and we have things that are underneath it. And again, it makes perfect sense if you are going to camouflage your structures and maybe hide from people or things that may see you, other civilizations, whatever. Keep in mind, we don't know how many civilizations have been to this moon? If it's only been one, has there been many? Ancient texts say the moon was brought here. Okay. From where? What else lived on this moon? I mean, it's kind of like our ancient civilizations where we've actually had ancient sites like uh, ancient Sumerian, Mayans, where the original culture was there, and then they built upon that. So is this any different? Is the moon the same way? Well, we won't know. However, it's still something to ponder. Now, this lime-colored arrow on the bottom, it has this weird, looks like a structure or something like that, almost like the one we see down here, just below this green arrow. See that? Yeah, pretty interesting. This one here, guys, blew my mind. This one's cool. And we're seeing the real deal here. Nobody's going to be able to show you these things. This is right from the LROC. Back in 1970, this was actually put online. Um, here we are right here. We've got that kind of baby blue arrow. It looks like some kind of ring structure at the base and something black coming right out of it, right out of the center of it. See that? And all the surrounding pieces. This orange or kind of peachy colored arrow, we have what looks like some kind of weird block or structure. And look at the gray area. You can see where it's outlined, where that thing still goes below the gray area. So it makes you wonder, this can't be dirt because that would be transparent dirt. Does that make sense? No. So... You have to believe that this has been airbrushed as well. And they try to go over certain pots to kind of throw off your eyes. And then, of course, we got this red arrow piece. We have what almost looks like walls, like almost square walls that has corners to it. And we have what looks like something skinny sticking right out of the top of it. What could that possibly be, guys? Now, let me bring it up a little bit. You can see the difference? Bring that up a little bit. Tell me what you guys think. Let's go down here. I'm not sure what to make of this, guys. This was some kind of, I don't know if it's the ground itself or what that is. Let me just back out of here a bit. So you can see this as opposed to this crater. Again, keep in mind, this is supposed to be 40 miles in width. And I don't believe this is just regular lunar surface where you see these what look like paths and 
uh, almost looks like bridges and overpasses over certain parts. Like this one here is a perfect example. I'm going to put it smack dab right in the middle. Okay. We've got the one right in the center. It appears like it's going from the center off to the back, and it looks like there's things underneath it. Pay attention to that stuff. We have things that overlap each other. Right in the middle. Looks like you got something goes, goes up and across, and you can see a shadow of it underneath. I don't believe this is natural at all. You can see this part over here. I'm going to show you this. This is pretty cool. This is cool because it almost looks like some kind of arch structure with a roadway or something going into it. Now, I'm just over this arch structure. I'm going to go over what looks like the roadway, go nice and thin around it. Go like this here, and look at the actual structure going under it, going around it. Now, check this out. When you look at this, you can see what looks like design to it. We've got the arch side over here to the left, up and over. Go back over here. It appears to go up like this, nice 90 degree corner. Goes across, that's not too clear. Try to make that a little bit cleaner there. And this goes back down and appears to do that. What is this thing, guys? And why is it there? See that? Now, take a look at the other things around it to the right of it. Look at they look like they're off the ground. Come on. Does a lunar surface actually do that? Or is this a lot of other structures and roadways or whatever it may be? Or it's just design of this particular area, right? And again, we've got these objects here in this circle, this green circle. No way. Look at that stuff, guys. Look at that. I'll bring it back down for you. It's right there. Okay. This, to me, without a doubt, screams structures. I mean, you can see this. And if you really look around, there's a lot more here to see. Just absolutely awesome. We're going to have plenty of these coming up, by the way, because this is a lot to see in these. And uh, we can thank uh, Sarah Michelle uh, for actually showing me this site, because this I was unaware of it, to be truthful with you guys. So I'm glad that she showed this, because, uh, yeah, this is the reason why we're seeing these today. Uh, just awesome. And again, I can go to the original. And guys, check that out. Just the original. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the screen. Look at that. You can see the structure in the middle. It's kind of like put a smack dab right there in the middle. Look at the way that thing is designed. You've got things that are lined up along, you know, the, the front of this thing. It looks like it's cut out into this hillside or whatever this is. Structures, structures everywhere. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Back up a little bit. Get every line we can out of this thing. And there you are, guys. There you guys go. Guys, like I said in my previous video, it makes perfect sense that any civilization that wants to keep an eye on the parent planet that it's orbiting... If they don't want the civilization there to see them, they're going to build on the backside of the moon. It makes perfect sense. And that's what these photos are. Most of them are the backside of the moon. And I believe, like I said before, I think they're utilizing the actual lunar surface itself, building the craters, building inside craters. Um, you know, maybe using like the actual ground, like dirt or uh, the lunar surface parts itself over the structures. One, maybe to block out some of the solar radiation. And from aerial view looking down, it would make perfect sense. It would camouflage their structures if they were actually covered. Now, clearly not all of these are because we can see them, right? And it's cool because you can see them from an angle. And that's why you can actually see what it looks like the ground's opened up. And you can see like structures or something inside there. You guys give me your thoughts as always. Drop your comments. You guys know that. And guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. And please like and share on your social sites. It's very important that this information gets out. We can awaken some of these folks, right? We already are. Let's try to get some more people on board, right? Anyway, guys, I was going to do a Mars video, but I seen this photo and I had to jump on it. Uh, this is the reason why I didn't have a Mars one out. But, so uh, anyway, guys, I do have one coming up. 
if you guys are into Mars, don't worry. There is one coming up, and it's pretty cool. So uh, stay tuned for that. And guys, don't forget the Friday night hangout at 5 p.m. Eastern time. As always, everybody have a great night, and we'll see you then. Peace, guys.